Welcome back. A gloomy day today. Cloudy skies. We are starting to see more clouds roll in and we are going to you can see how windy it is out there. That camera is shaking uh, from our sky deck as we look over downtown Spokane and those winds are going to continue picking up tonight along with those rain and snow chances. Looks like here in Spokane likely we are just going to see that rain. Um, some very slight chances of seeing uh, some snow flurries overnight as well just as those temperatures drop. 33 for our overnight low rain and snow showers. Winds out of the south west 20 to 30 miles per hour those gusts up to 40 miles per hour and we are under that wind advisory down into the Palouse and Elsie Valley as well 52 tomorrow mostly sunny skies so things are going to change very quickly winds will be out of the southwest 5 to 15 miles per hour as we head into Tuesday though more rain and snow showers on the way wind advisory in effect until 10 p.m. tonight. That's because we're going to see winds up to 50 mile per hour wind gusts, straight winds 25 to 30 miles per hour out of the southwest. You can see that's for Spokane into Coeur d'Alene, down into the Palouse and down into the Columbia Basin as well. So we are going to keep an eye on those winds, already seeing them pick up throughout the region. 30 miles per hour in Spokane right now, 24 miles per hour in Coeur d'Alene, 21 miles per hour in Pullman and Moscow, and 23 miles per hour in Moses Lake. So very windy tonight, but things will be calming down tomorrow. All of that's coming from the system that's pushing over the Cascades right now. You can see that is bringing some snow along the eastern slopes of the Cascades here in Spokane. Likely that's just going to fall in the form of rain. We could see up to an inch or two of accumulation to the northeast mountains and the northern panhandle of Idaho of snow, but the rest of us likely just going to see rain. Winter weather advisory in effect for the eastern slopes of the Cascades, so that includes Stevens Pass. Four to nine inches of snow possible there. That's above 3,000 feet. If you're traveling that direction, you could see some dicey conditions as well as I-90 along Lookout Pass. That's in effect until 4 a.m. on Monday. All of that coming from that system. That's going to push out of the region later tonight. High pressure will build in for Monday. That's going to bring us mostly sunny skies. Warmer conditions will be in the 50s, but then Tuesday, the next system starts rolling in. That's going to bring us widespread showers and high mountain snow again on Tuesday. And then another system rolls in for Wednesday, bringing us the same thing, more widespread rain and mountain snow for Wednesday into Thursday. So a bit of an active week ahead. Seven day forecast, 52 for our high tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies by the afternoon, 44 on Tuesday. Those chances of rain and snow. And then we're gonna continue seeing some chances of rain as we head through the week. Looks like Friday's gonna be okay. And then more chances as we head into the weekend. So a pretty wet week ahead. And these ki kittens, cats, kittens, <laughs> this is Dot and Gladys for our weekend whiskers. And their owner said they're waiting for spring to arrive. And I think a lot of people are, but all of these spring-like showers out there kind of looks like we have them. Do they get to go outside? They do get to go outside. Oh, okay. They're, they're well, outdoor cats. That's a good reason to, good reason to <laughs> there wait. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Great photo. Yeah. I like it. If you want your pets on weekend whiskers, you can email me, alyssadkxoy.com. All right. Thanks, Alyssa. Yeah.